You guys are never gonna know the answer. I know the answer. I'm just messing with you this entire time. I know everything. One of the most popular ones is that the kids are actually dead and <laughs> New Ham is like a purgatory or the afterlife. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. I like that idea. And I could agree. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like there's a theory that because we saw the dog again in the final scene. Where did the dog come from? And where does the dog, well, we know what happens to the dog, which is really mean, Campbell. Actually, it leads into this theory that <laughs> if you die in New Ham. Do you die? Then you get brought back to West Ham. Is there like a portal, like Alice down the rabbit hole, like that Allie can like walk through and like she sees her mom and that dog and she can bring the dog back and leave her mom and her parents there? Because I kind of like the new world. Okay, then maybe Campbell didn't off the dog. Maybe the dog was alive and found the rabbit hole back into the society where our parents are, like through the forest, under a bridge, closet of Narnia. That Maybe that's what it is. No, I really have no idea. We'll never find out. My theory right now is that it's maybe a celestial being, someone like watching over the experiment. If you do think about like parallel universes and other dimensions, we could be in another dimension. Maybe we're that far out. Maybe we're in another dimension. I'm gonna go with that. There's also the big mystery of who the father of Becca's baby is. Oh, I do know the answer to that, but I can't tell you. It's really serious. Like, you're not gonna believe it. It's the biggest twist ever. Unless it's changed, you know, they've rewritten it or something, because we didn't reveal it on purpose. Who it is meant to be, who I know it is, even for Ali, it's like, are you kidding? So, it, it connects to everyone. It's a big one. What do you think the chances are that they're actually trapped in a Matrix-like simulation? See, that's another one um, that we also contemplated. It could be like a Matrix situation, but nothing was in slow-mo. That hasn't happened yet, but season two, maybe. Do you have like any <laughs> theories or thoughts on like Pfeiffer's intentions? Who is Pfeiffer? Where did this guy come from? Why did he do this to us? Why is he driving the bus? Why is he so sus on the bus, by the way, with that hat and stuff? Just looking at us weird? What bus driver has ever been that? I've only had nice bus drivers. You know, in my school, our bus driver was always like our best friend. This guy, he doesn't play any tunes. He doesn't sing any songs. And then he takes us away from our homes and our families and our loved ones and our dogs. Whatever the parents are up to, part of their scheme involved performing a ritual sacrifice in which they <laughs> sacrifice their children to this other guy. That one also resonates. Like I got chills when you said that because I'm like, did the parents sacrifice us so that they could have like, I don't know, like eternal what? I have no idea. But um, I like to think that we really are in our home. That's what I went with when we were filming. I just tried to act like, no, this is our home and everyone else is gone. But that really doesn't work. <sighs> None of it makes sense. Are you guys watching? <laughs>